Hi, May 2020 MT. So I have 75 products to use up for the rest of this year. Let's see how I've done this month. Um, I had actually gone to seed a couple of months ago uh, into the situation worldwide with the pandemic. I was, I, I was feeling quite numb and wasn't really using up any products. No self-care, no routine, half-hearted cleansing of my face and maybe a moisturizer and brushing. That was all it was. And, stop moisturizing my body but you know after seeing your MTs particularly some of you Siobhan, Lucy, Alba and a couple of others after seeing your MTs I was inspired to use I mean these people are seeing my MTs and using our products so I've got to use the products too I've got to do my self-care thank you people for inspiring me all of you who've been doing MTs because thank you so much you've inspired me to you've sort of kicked me out of my rut and you know stopped you know me from going to see it farther and now i'm doing my full routine as usual so let's see how i've done in my cleanser first oil cleanser or makeup removing cleanser first cleanser chanel Les Blanc immediate brightening oil gel makeup remover bigger than my nose so yeah even though this is a sample it does count because it is bigger than my nose my nose is small um it this this they described it as an oil gel it was more oil than gel for me it was more balm actually than oil or gel um, I didn't really like it, I must tell you the truth. It uh, didn't do much. I mean, I like my first cleanse to be lightweight, a light oil, and then emulsify nicely at the drop of a hat, removing all makeup. Think the face shops rice water cleansing light oil, as an example. This didn't, you know, float my boat. So I won't be repurchasing this second cleanser, Pixie Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. This worked a treat. Now this did a very good, I, I wouldn't say it was a makeup remover, it was a second step cleanser. The only problem was that the product was very, very, very runny. And thereby you end up losing a lot of product when you, you know, get it out of the bottle to apply. Now, Pixie recommends that you use a cotton pad or your hands. Either way, cotton pad, I don't want you to do cotton pads you know particularly not at this time because you know first of all the cotton pads themselves uh, absorb a lot of products secondly I don't like disposable cotton pads bad idea I like reusable cotton pads um, and I have a few but you know I couldn't be asked to use them and even they absorb product bad idea and when you use your hands there's product spillage there as well so because this was very 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 runny there's product loss I think I must have not used so much it must have you know either got a, you know lost when i used my hands to get product out or the few times that i did use cotton pads to apply this must have got absorbed by those cotton pads so please so much wasn't of use to me so i won't be buying it for that reason otherwise i actually liked this cleanser the nice invigorating smell of vitamin c and i don't know about brightening yeah it definitely gave me a bit of a glow after a while so. sunscreen is next and i have kang skin beauty multi-block cream spf 50. uh it is very 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 important to continue to use your sunscreen even if you are indoors in lockdown not going out at all remember that so this one i used for my body rather than my face it was thick it was viscous it was heavy um a better body sunscreen than a face sunscreen was it effective i don't know i'm, I'm pasty now so. now we come to serums and i have finished my first bottle of the slurp niacid acne scar distillate um this bottle lasted me from december until now that's that's quite a long time um i used it twice a day just a little bit are uh, on my acne scars it did it help the the pits are shallower is it because of this i don't know i've been doing a lot of other things i underwent one subsession session late feb early march i think it was late feb actually um i have been demo stamping my face i've been using an at-home laser device i've been using an at-home uh, rf infrared device so, what cost i've been using my skincare as usual so was it this device what was it this product that has made my pitted acne scars slightly slightly shallower i don't know will i use this again yes i have actually bought another bottle 
that is my last portal and i have absolutely no idea what i'm going to do once that is over unless this pandemic goes away by then because you know i, I don't want to ship internationally from korea right now and what about the product itself um it's very 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 runny lightweight it goes on straight after cleansing and it is niacinamide that is the most uh, the main ingredient in here there's also a snail secretion filtrate and you know it's very the the description of the jargon used is very scientific sounding <laughs> and it uh, as i said it this is a transparent very runny product and just a little bit will cover those areas you wait for about 10 minutes or so before going in with your next step um, I have combined this successfully with the retinol products, no problems. I have combined this successfully with glycolic acid, no problems. I have combined this successfully with a vitamin C serum, as you will see shortly. But uh, the vitamin, I, I did have a 15 minute or 20 minute wait before I went in with my vitamin C. So uh, there has been no redness, no problem, no reaction at all. Uh, niacinamide is an ingredient to which I'm actually quite new, and it was I, I feel that it was quite effective on my skin. in helping control breakouts to a large extent so i will be repurchasing this once lockdown host of problems pandemic issues are over the next thing i used up was the hero project's vitamin c brightening serum all gone um i have used up other bottles of the serum before i think it is my last bottle of the serum i can't be absolutely sure there i think there's one more left or is it my last one i don't know i'll have to look um this is a very lipidic product i mean there's apparently 30 percent vitamin c in here the formulation is anhydrous there's no water there is less danger of the vitamin c oxidizing because there's no water at the same time therefore the texture feels lipidic that makes it a problem to layer that is the biggest issue here it becomes a problem to layer this because of the lipidic formulation so you want to go in with your vitamin c early on in your routine at the same time this is lipidic so you may not be able to put on say hyaluronic acid or something watery after all because of how lipidic this is otherwise this is extremely extremely effective in fading hyperpigmentation strong stuff my tingling felt yeah heat felt good stuff will i repurchase no i've got two other vitamin c's to use up actually now the next product is from the ordinary confession it's something i didn't like so yeah you might want to give me that down arrow here it is the matrixil matrixil and Matrixyl 10% and hyaluronic acid. Matrixyl is basically a pep peptide concentrate. My skin normally loves peptides. I even have a peptide sleeping mask from Sidmoon that I do. I'll talk about it shortly in another video on lightweight cheap sleeping packs that I like. This, I've had it for a very long time. And each time I've used it for about four or five days and had to stop. So I finally, finally finished this product finish this bottle and unfortunately i made the huge mistake of buying two bottles of the thing back in the day um why do i stop after four days of using it you see that bloody thing breaks me out no matter what i do this breaks me out buffet breaks me out from the ordinary a lot of products from the ordinary break me out don't ask me why there's something in that of my skin feels maybe it's my skin maybe it's not I have um, done a video on products from the ordinary that I just like. Um, it's I link that in the description box below. I've also done a comparison of the Inky list and the ordinary uh, products. You can I, I link that one as well. But this a lot of the ordinary products break me out, particularly not the not the non-acid ones, the non-exfoliation ones. This time as well, no exception. I think I managed about five nights of use with this before these two happened so will i repurchase of course not right now we come to sheet masks i've actually let's count these as one yeah there are two the exact same masks tony moly pureness 100 hyaluronic sheet mask uh very hydrating obviously hyaluronic acid lots and lots of serum essence product was in here that i actually ended up using all over my neck my upper torso really the entire upper torso there was nothing Will I repurchase? No, I don't buy sheet masks. They're single-use products that are bad for the environment. This packaging is not reusable. So why am I talking about these, you ask? They came as a gift with purchase from some purchase or the other. So I, I don't buy them. P 
people will send them or retailers will include them. I've no idea why. Maybe it's because you know it's an easy thing to do. Just send me a sample like this. That's better. You know, I can repurpose this glass bottle. One more face product. This is from Neogen. This is the gold cocoa cream. I got I use this as a last step preclusive to lock in all my products and it worked quite well. Um it didn't break me out because I was careful to avoid the areas where I had already got break breakouts from the ordinary. So I used it all over here and it didn't break me out, as you can see. So nice. Um, will I repurchase? Not right now. I've got enough night creams and face creams to use up <laughs> for a very long time. Bath and Body is next. Char Gel. Jean and Provence. Savant Liquid Demoiselle Soap, Jasmine Secret. I don't normally like the smell of jasmine. I, mean, I hate jasmine. Hate, hate, hate jasmine so much. Uh, but uh, here it was quite mine. I can't remember why I bought it or where I bought it either. Anyway, um, the fragrance was very, very, very mild. So it was all right. Will I repurchase? No, though, because you know I prefer bar soap to shower gels because there is less. Packaging waste. Now this will go to my dad for his garden, whatever he wants to do with it. But uh, even so, you know, there's only so much he can use, first of all. Secondly, there, there's only so many times he can use before it breaks or something. In the case of a bar soap, a bit of paper wrapping, that's it. No packaging. So it's a lot more eco-friendly to use bar soap. So I've stopped using charges. Body lotion, soap and glory, the daily smooth. Adore. Adore, adore, adore. adore. Love this. Um, it's actually somewhere between a body butter and body lotion. I wouldn't call it, you know, a runny body lotion to use with it because it's, it's thicker. It's more moisturizing. It's more powerful. Will I repurchase? I've already got uh, the righteous butter to use up. Uh, that, that's a body butter. But uh, right now, I want to be, I, I've got other body lotions to use up. Right now, I'm going to be going in for lighter products, you know, even lighter lotions because obviously the weather uh, is warming up day by day and uh, thick, heavy body butters in the summer, not a good idea, particularly if you are back knee prone as I am. So I won't be repurchasing this or other soap and glory or body butters immediately. Foot cream, Palmer's cocoa butter uh, formula with the vitamin E. So as you can see, I've been trying to get every last bit of product out of these. <laughs> Uh, did I like it? Not really. And I'll tell you why. It contained eucalyptus and peppermint oils and I, I didn't like the smell. Anyway, I won't be repurchasing. The next product is a hand cream. Most essential during these times because, you know, the more you wash your face and wash your hands and the more you use hand sanitizer and things like that, the drier your hands are going to be. So I've been using hand cream quite religiously. I actually had a huge hand cream haul recently. So Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Touch Hand Cream. Adore it. Not only kept my hands nicely hydrated, but also put me off to sleep sooner, soothed me to sleep. I really love this product. Will I repurchase eventually? I, as I told you, I've been buying a lot of very affordable hand creams by the dozen, and I don't want to be buying another hand cream right now. So, yeah, eventually we'll be repurchasing. So, that's 12 products used up in May. So, as you know, I had 75 to use up, another 12 gone, which means that I have 63 to use up from June till December. Will I get there? Stay tuned to find out. So, have you used up anything in May? If so, do tell me what it is in the comments below. Do tag me on your empty space on social media, wherever you're posting. Uh, I'd love to see what you're using up. And, you know, because your empty spots are inspiring me to use up more and you know indulge in more self-care i'd really love to see your posts so do tag me so that's all from me for today thank you for watching this video please do give me a thumbs up please do the subscribe button please do ring the notifications bell and i'll speak to you soon